All right, guys, welcome to this segment of In the Field with UK Extension. I'm Adam Huber. I'm here with Jason Phillips. And uh, today, it's rainy all day outside here in February, and uh, calving season is coming up, Jason. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to demonstrate on how to make a black vulture effigy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I know these are important amongst our cattle and livestock producers um, in, in terms of uh, an effigy is a scare decoy. Right. And we need to keep these black vultures run off ran off and this is uh, part one of a two-part series right. that we're going to do in which we're going to go into a little bit more detail about hanging the, hanging the black vulture, why they're a problem and some things like that. But today this is meant to mainly be an instructional video on how to build the black vulture effigy uh, which, which this design was, was developed by University of Kentucky right. wildlife specialist uh, Dr. Matt, Matt Springer. Right. Yeah, so basically, okay, we'll start with uh, the tools that we're going to need, and you can get these at any local hardware store, and most of you probably uh, already have a lot of this stuff, so it's not going to be a big cost to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, so first off, we'll need to get some rope. This is just a nylon rope. This is 100, and, 100 feet. Um, it doesn't matter really how much, mm -hmm. how the length of rope that you get. You just want to get enough where you can can get the thing in the tree. This will be used to hang hang the deer. Yeah, this is what you hang hang the effigy with. So next, we're going to need some zip ties. Um, it's recommended to have 15 zip ties that are at least 15 inches long, 14 mm -hmm. to 15 inches long, um, and that can hold withhold, withhold uh, 50 pounds. So next thing we'll need is a uh, a U-bolt, uh, two inches, mm -hmm. two inch U-bolt. We'll need some box cutters, and you probably want to get some extra blades because right. the mat that we're going to have that, you, that you're going to need to get uh, is going to be pretty, pretty thick, pretty, and pretty thick, and hard on your blades. So next, we need uh, we we'll need two drill bits. We're going to need a five sixteenths and a, a quarter inch drill bit, and then we're also going to need a drill. Um, and you can go ahead and. and yeah, if you've got a clamp or a vise uh, in your in your shop, you probably wouldn't need these. But we got a couple of clamps that uh, we'll we'll need to use, and uh, so these are four inch clamps. We also uh, will need some gray paint. Right. So we've got four gray uh, rust oleum spray paint here, and also when we're drilling, we'll need to wear some safety glasses, and uh, also when we're painting. We'll wear our gloves. Right. Uh, we yeah. did. We did use the stapler as we were laying out, and you'll see momentarily. Uh, we used a stapler and some tape as we were laying out our effigy right. design. Right. And the last thing that you need uh, to make the whole thing work is a four by a three by four uh, mat, rubber stall mat. Right. Uh, again, available at your local hardware store. Preferably a quarter inch uh, is more manageable, uh, but a half inch will work. Right. And uh, so we'll go ahead and move over to the mat. We'll get everything laid out and kind of explain to you uh, what we've got going on there. All right, so basically what we've done is we've laid out our schematic in order to, um, in order to design our, our black vulture effigy. effigy. And you'll see here, uh, as you're putting this together, this schematic is available and uh, you can get it at your local extension office and you can see how we've laid this out. W1, W2, 1, so these are all W2s, W2, 2, W2, 3, and so forth and so on. So you can see in our video kind of how that will go together. And we've stapled it to the mat so that as we cut it out with our box cutter, it's not gonna be shifting and moving. And then this is gonna be our body. So as you can see how this goes together, B1, B2, and these are all just on eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. B3 and B4. So what we're gonna do next is we'll take our box cutter and we'll cut these out and then move on to the next step.
All right, so now we've got, we've got it all cut out. This is our, our wings, and then this is our, our main body part. So what, we, what we've done now is uh, we've, got, <clears throat> we've got it clamped up, and so we're gonna take our quarter inch drill, uh, drill bit, we're gonna drill five holes across through this, and then we're gonna take our zip ties, and then we're gonna, we're gonna zip it up. So now we're gonna just move our clamp down. And <clears throat> at the head, at the head you wanna go ahead and, and uh, zip tie it up tight. But down here at the, at the towards the back of the, the bird, you wanna kinda leave it open a little bit. Just so it has a cylinder, cylinder type look to it and it's not all folded up. It should look, <clears throat> look something like that. You can see I sliced it just a little bit too much there, but uh, wherever you get done, that's, that should be what it looks like. Then we can just take a knife or our box cutter and we'll cut these off. So now what we're gonna do is we've got, uh, we're putting our wings over our body and now we've got to put, uh, we've got to drill holes through the wings into the body so we are, so we can get our uh, zip ties to, to zip tie the wings onto the body. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, so now we've got our five holes drilled and we're going to just uh, <clears throat> put our uh, zip tie through it and that way it'll stay together. So as we're drilling these holes, we need to be sure our, we, we wear our safety goggles. And now I'm gonna simply take our five sixteenths inch bit and drill a hole for the U-bolt U here, uh, close to the bottom of the wings in the tail, which is what we're gonna hang, hang it from. So we'll just kinda mark that hole I'm gonna make sure I got it fairly centered so it hangs straight. Okay, so now what we've done here is uh, we just took one of our pieces of paper that we cut off of the original uh, cutout design and basically just cut a little, uh, a little, oval, or a little circle out uh, and then we're just going to tape this piece of paper on there and, now we're, and then we're going to spray paint. That looks like feathers. So now we're going to paint the, uh, the tip of the wings, and you only want to paint on the underside of the wings. We don't want to paint on, on the top, top side. side.
All right, Jason, well, we finally got her finished um, and we got it hung up. This is what I wrote before. We've got it hung up in our office here, as you can tell. Um, not a lot of black vultures in the office. Yeah, right, but right. This will illustrate the point, <laughs> and we're going to do a follow up video right. that's actually going to show uh, and discuss placement of this vulture effigy. Right. But we wanted to show you what it would look like if it were in the field hanging as you would. Right. And this thing, it, it's not real heavy. It probably weighs 10 pounds, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, pretty easy to make. Right. Really. Uh, once you get all the, all the tools, you know, like we showed you at the beginning. Um, it really don't take a whole lot of time to, to construct one of these. And also, if you've got a, a, a partner to kind of help you out, it goes a little bit faster. An extra set of hands right. is definitely helpful. And I would advise that you purchase, we've got the half inch, which is very substantial, but if right. you've got the choice, I would go for the quarter inch, right. which would be a little lighter, but also a little bit easier to cut through. But the half inch works just fine. It just takes a little bit more work to, to cut. Right, right. And Jason, you've got something that Dr. Matt Springer has, has uh, fixed up for us. Let's kind of go over that. And Correct. Um, so this is a, a forestry publication that's available online entitled Black Vulture Eff Effigy Directions. And it's going to tell you basically uh, a lot of what we've illus illustrated today. Right. But uh, we couldn't construct this without the schematics. Right. And so in this publication, you will have the schematic design which will allow you to actually construct this decoy. Right. And the schematics, just so you know what that is, that is basically the outline mm -hmm. of, of, the, of the black vulture effigy. Um, so basically what you'll do is you'll print this publication out and it'll have all of the, it's got like six or seven pages. And, and that's what we were putting together at the beginning uh, with the numbers. Exactly. And, and so on. Right. So and you'll need to print it, of course, one-sided so that you can right. have the entire Right. effigy to put together right so all the all the tools hopefully all the tools are here and hopefully our illustration today will help you to follow along and understand how to build your own black vulture effigy to deter black vultures during calving season and uh, and things of that nature because I know they're a big problem to a lot of a lot of our cattle and livestock producers in the state of Kentucky right. and we're going to talk more in, in a, our next segment about placement but also about the black vulture in general right. and uh, some additional uh, steps that you can do to make this as effective as you possibly can right right yeah and if you have any other questions you can contact your local uh, University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension office like I said we've got publications we're gonna have this video on YouTube for 24-7 access mm -hmm. so uh, multiple things you can go to to find information uh, about the black vulture effigy if you enjoyed the video too today, be sure to like it while you're there right. and uh, give it a thumbs up. Yep. We'll see you in the next episode.